Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am in a new place. I'm actually not in a new place. I'm in my living room only because my brother is in my bedroom playing games and you know he talks loud and he talks too much. So I decided to film in my living room and you see the sunlight beaming in through the window. So yeah, amazing lighting. Anyways, today I will be doing the beauty scenario tag. So obviously it's a Friday, it's a new video. So if you guys are excited, give this video a thumbs up already before you start. Well, before I start actually so I will be doing the beauty scenario tag and I've actually haven't done this in a what well, what am I saying I haven't done this at all so if you watch all of my videos or any of my previous videos or like if you've gone through my videos which is not a lot um yeah I haven't done it before so this is my first time doing it and just a disclaimer out there I am not a professional I'm not a mute beauty i am not a beauty guru or makeup artist at all so i do not have a big collection but i will be doing a makeup collection because i do have like a lot of stuff to me but compared to like a makeup artist i don't have a lot of stuff so i will be doing a makeup collection soon but today i decided to do the beauty scenario tag and i have my phone here with all the questions um yeah so i think there are let's say eight questions okay um just so you know, some of these questions, um, they ask for high end and low end. But to be honest with you, I only have, like the majority of the items that I have in my um, collection is drugstore. I do have some high end, but not everything is high end. Let's say, for example, I, ha I have a high end lipstick and I have high end eyeliner and high end um bronzer and blush but some of the things that are like pretty steep just to spend let's say foundation something that i don't use all the time um only on special occasions i don't really spend much on it but anyways uh let's just move on <clears throat> sorry let's just move on and move on to the questions the first question is you have to get rid of all of your foundations and you can only keep one high-end and one drugstore which do you keep so this is the question that was kind of difficult for me but I do not have any high-end foundations like I said I only have a drugstore foundation so what I was thinking when I was reading that question I was just gonna show you the, the drugstore foundations that I have so this is the cover girl what is it ready set gorgeous fresh complexion oil free foundation in 215 so this is my go-to foundation for every single day and if i had to choose only two foundations or well let's say one high end and one low end this would be the low end um the drugstore only because obviously number one it is very cheap i can replace it this is in like a permanent collection so if i go to any drugstore if i go to any department store they will always have it and i can always replace it with this one if this is the only one that i get to use also i am a oily to combination skin my t-zone is oily the rest of my face is like normal to dry sometimes this is oil free so my t-zone will never get oily and i will never have to like blot or you know what I mean, um, try to get rid of the oil, so I really like this. Also, I'm the type of girl that likes natural looks, natural makeup, so this is really great for natural makeup. So yeah, this is very good, especially with all the, you know, different colors I get to choose. Let's say if I get darker, I can get another one, or like this kind actually, or I can stick to this color, but I'm always this color. Anyways, but yeah, so this is the one that I would choose only because all the qualities are so easy and I can just, I can just wear this by itself and it won't even feel like I'm wearing makeup or it won't even look like to others that I'm wearing makeup or foundation because that's how natural it looks. Next question, number two, is you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? To be honest with you, if I was in an interview and I saw somebody with lipstick on my teeth, I mean with lipstick on their teeth, um, I would ignore it. Not to be mean, but I would honestly ignore it only because I am in an interview and if I did mention it, then I feel like I would be embarrassing her in a way and she'll probably think like, oh, you know, 
I have lipstick on my teeth and you know she had to point that out in an interview like if it was a random day where you're talking to someone or you know you're having a conversation you know whatever about whatever um obviously it would be a good time to mention like oh sorry to say but you have like lipstick on your teeth or um before you say anything uh you know you have lipstick on your teeth or whatever you know like mention it to them quick and then be like oh you know thanks whatever and then they'll wipe it off but in an interview i feel like the setting is just too professional and i would be really scared because if i mentioned it or if i thought of mentioning it and i did um i think that she would probably not hire me so that's only me though other people might mention it because other people might be a little bit more bolder than i am so yeah and they might not be scared or maybe their personality would shine more than just mentioning like lipstick on their teeth but i would probably ignore it completely okay so question number three is you're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel better so i actually have the lipstick with me um this is the lipstick right here this is the most beautiful packaging ever and this is like my favorite lipstick out of all the lipsticks that i have this is from the aqua collection by mac and this is called mystical so this is limited edition they don't have this anymore so if i use this all up i probably cry but this is how it looks like it is a nice um kind of muted pink pinkish nude kind of color and I chose this lipstick because like I said I love natural lipsticks this gives it a little bit of color but then at the same time it won't look like I'm trying too hard or it won't look like um I'm actually wearing so much lipstick for example like compared to a purple lipstick or like a red lipstick you could just see it like it just pops in your face but this is more of a natural pinky kind of lipstick but it's also muted at the same time and I would choose this as a pick-me-up only because I love natural lipstick and I don't wear lipstick all the time and when I put this on even other lipsticks but for but for this lipstick, when I put it on, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, I feel so nice about myself. And whenever I wear makeup, I usually like putting this one on just because, like, I want that natural um, look unless I am going out at nighttime to the bar, to the club, or to, like, someone's birthday party where, you know, we're turning up or something. But yeah, I like this for a natural day, and I would always put this on just to pick me up so I can feel beautiful. So next question, I feel like this is going on and on, but question number four. You go back in time for a day to your teenage years, how would you do your hair and makeup differently? So I am 20 years old, so I am basically like hitting the adult mark. So I haven't been like an adult for too long, so I was just a teenager and I feel like if I go back in time, this question should have been more specific, let's say 16 years old or something or whatever because a lot of the people they they might be a teenager already and they might be doing makeup so well so for me i am a 20 year old if i went back to let's say 15 or 16 with my hair i would probably not do anything differently um only because i looked back on my pictures a couple days ago and i actually liked my hair like i liked my hair way more back then than i did now and only because i haven't gotten to Ugh, I haven't gone to the hair salon and gotten a haircut in a long time so my hair is just bleh So I feel like I would change it now than I would back then but with my makeup I didn't really do Honestly, like I said, I love natural makeup. So um, I didn't wear eyeshadow. I didn't even wear eyeliner So, you know foundation is not too hard to do um, Lipstick is not too hard to do blush is not too hard to do bronzer i never wore bronzer too much so um i didn't really care about that either the only thing that i would probably fix was maybe my eyebrows my eyebrows were like they're okay right now but back then whoy, they were horrible so i think that's the only thing that i probably do and maybe like sometimes the last time that um i really cut my hair short was like this short like my hair was all the way up to my ass and i cut my hair all the way up to my shoulder and at first i liked it but then i kind of regretted it because it was really short but then i liked it at the same time because you know it was so easy just to wash my hair easy to you know run my fingers through my hair without getting it stuck um 
that I should have made like a better choice. I shouldn't have cut my hair too short, maybe like mid-length, like right where my boob is or something. Because then it's not too short, but it's not too long, you know, and it had potential to grow. And when you look at it, you'll be like, oh yeah, you know, hair. But then it was a bold move. I did like it, but at the same time, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it. Because, yeah. But it's okay, you know, you learn. Next question is number five. You ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut, but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you smile, say thank you, leave, and call your mom hysterically, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or complain to the manager and de demand a refund? To be honest with you guys, I would never make this mistake, but if I did make this mistake, I would honestly cry. I would oh my god i don't know i would probably sit in the chair cry just cry and i don't care if it gets awkward i'm just gonna cry i'm gonna be like my hair is all gone like what the hell do you want me to do like you just cut all of my hair and i fully said shoulder length but clearly you're deaf and you're not a good hairdresser so you decided to fucking cut off my hair so i would probably cry and call my mom at the same time be like oh my god the lady fucking cut all my hair off and now i have no hair like what am i gonna do you know and honestly after your hair is gone you can't do anything until you grow it out you just have to wait and grow it out and that's the only thing that you can really do and that kind of sucks because hair takes long to grow and i wouldn't say my hair takes long to grow it doesn't but in general hair takes long to grow so yes i would cry and call my mom at the same time i'll be like mom this lady fucking cut my hair off i don't know what the hell i'm going to do now you want me to go in public like this like i want my money back like i don't want my hair like this i would do all three probably i would cry i would call my mom and I would ask for a refund because this is not what I wanted and yeah when I don't get what I want I would you know go to great lengths to try to get what I want and you know they can give my money back and the next time when my hair grows again then I'll go to another salon use that money and get another haircut but yeah question number six is your friend surprises you with a four-day city city break and you have one hour to pack which do-it-all palette do you pack in your makeup bag okay so i don't know what they mean by do it all um but i guess like there's really no makeup palette that has everything from primer to foundation to eyeshadow to blush to bronzer to eyebrows to eyeliner you know all of that so i'm pretty sure there is no sorry my dog i'm pretty sure there is no palette like that so i decided to try to uh choose out the palette that has like like a lot of the things that i don't have that i could bring separate but i have in like a palette if you know what i mean so let me just show you so this is the palette that i would bring like i said i don't really have much so this is the sephora trio palette i think that's what it's called to be honest i don't even know yeah it's called the essential blush and bronzer palette so basically let me just open it and i'll show you what's in this palette here so this is the palette okay like you can see this is the bronzer and this is the blush two blushes like a darker one and a lighter one so i decided to choose this because you can always bring blush and bronzer in a separate pack or like you guys can have like singles and then just bring it along with you but Obviously, you can't bring everything in one single palette, so I chose this and because it has blush and bronzer and it has a bronzer that's light enough, but at the same time, I could build it up and make it darker and then there's two different blush choices and I do love like the light pink and the dark pink choices because I love that type of blush color. Um, I don't wear eyeshadow, so I wouldn't have chosen eyeshadow anyway. Um, I do wear eyeshadow once in a blue moon, so that's like once a month maybe not even once a month maybe like once every six months but yeah i would choose this because this is do it all like i can bring all my other stuff and then i can bring this without having to bring it in like a single pack or whatever you know so yeah so this is the second last question which is number seven 
Your house has been robbed, don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? So if this robber really did not attack my family while they're robbing my house and they decided to just go to my makeup stash, then it's probably a girl that's like super, super obsessed with makeup. But I chose three things and I know it says only one thing it says, right? What's the product you really hope is safe? I chose three things because it does come in different colors. So I was hoping like maybe they would just, you know, lay off these three things but it's by the same brand and it's by the same company and it's in three different colors but it's like the same type of makeup so it is lipstick so these are the lipsticks by mac this is a limited edition guys you see this if you recognize this packaging give this video a thumbs up um this is the gem batista volley lipstick so gem batista volley is a i think a fashion designer um but yeah, this is a limited edition, and look at this. So this color is like a burgundy color, you can see, like a reddish burgundy color. This is like a hot, well no, that's not a hot pink. Oh, wait, why does it look hot pink? Okay, I mean, why does it look orange? Okay, this one is hot pink and this one's orange. Can you guys see the difference? Yeah, I don't know why the lighting's making it look like they're both orange, but this one is pink and this one's orange, and all three of them are limited edition. Let me just open the packaging to show you guys like one of them because the reason why I wanted to keep this and hopefully this would be not this wouldn't be stolen because number one it is limited edition I will never be able to get it again number two the three colors are beautiful colors and you know I could wear this these three colors a lot and number three BAM look at this packaging please tell me you do not love the mother fucking packaging it's the same color as the lipstick how beautiful is that? And it's matte too, and I like that. So yeah, last question is question number eight. Your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in an awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? I would do B, I would be like, you broke this, can you buy a new one? Like, I gave it to you in perfect condition and it looks like shit. So can you please rebuy because this was expensive. And I'm not a bold person, and I would probably not say it that way, but I would just be like, um, I didn't give this to you in this condition. Did you do this? Then they would obviously have to tell me the reason how that happened because they were put on the spot. And I'm pretty sure they'll be like, oh, you know, it accidentally dropped, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Be like, okay, but I paid like $70 for this. I probably wouldn't pay $70 for something like that, but... I would pay $70 for this. I mean, I, I paid $70 for this and you need to repurchase it or at least give me half of the money back because this is worth a lot. And I let you borrow it thinking that it would be in good condition, but it's not. So you need to do something about it. But yeah, that is the last question and now you are at my end slate. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, I did so many fitness videos, so I decided to do a video that's unrelated to fitness, more beauty, and unrelated to lifestyle. So yeah, this is the beauty scenario tag, Kelly's beauty scenario tag. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like the product that I mentioned, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then click the button down below. It's a red button. You can't miss it because it says subscribe. And so, you know, my videos can show up on your feed. And if you want to see my previous video, which is like my fitness video, I'm doing a fitness journey. It's either down below or it's right here next to me in this ad slate. And there's an annotation so you can click that as well. And if you haven't already, follow my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Yeah, and I also have like Tumblr and I have a blog down below. So if you want to check that out as well, then go ahead and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!